Thank you for joining us today. Before we get started with the Veritas Configuration Manager version 6.0 product demonstration, we'd like to take a moment to talk about some key data center trends that we're seeing. Application complexity continues to evolve in the data center. This means more applications need to be highly available. We are seeing new service-oriented architectures resulting in more servers and more platforms that need to be supported, while at the same time, IT capacity in terms of headcount and budget remains flat. And this is why we're offering the Veritas Server Foundation family of products. We're going to be focusing specifically on Configuration Manager today. Veritas Configuration Manager's key capabilities are application and server discovery, dependency mapping, and change tracking. For discovery, we'll show you all the configurations for your server, all the installed and running applications, as well as those configurations down to the parameter level. We'll then observe the behavior of those applications and automatically build out for you dependency maps. These will show you applications that are dependent on each other, whether they be file-based dependencies within a box, process-based dependencies, or network dependencies in your environment. Configuration Manager will also change track your application and configuration files. Because we're real-time, we can show you who made the change and when. We are not scanning-based, so we're not going to miss any of the changes in your environment. For text-based files, we're able to show you the change down to the parameter level and show you before and after images. Let's take a closer look. When I log into Configuration Manager, I see a list of my servers. As I click through each one, you'll notice that the configuration details display for me below. Information like my OS name and version, CPU count, CPU speed, memory. I can click on my network tab and see a list of my network interfaces. I can click on file systems and get details about the file systems for this particular server, as well as information about my patches and service packs. Configuration Manager will also discover all running and installed applications on your servers. So let's go down to a server we call Red Hat Node 2. I'm going to click on the Applications tab, and you'll notice that we have a few instances of Perl and Java, in addition to Apache and Veritas cluster server installed. When I drill into my applications, I can see more detail. So where my application is installed, if I click on my configuration data, it shows me the data that we're pulling from our Apache configuration file. I can drill in for more details and view the parameters. I can do the same thing for my cluster configuration. So I'll go back to my Node 2, click on my cluster server details, and look at the configuration data there. As I zoom in, I can see the parameters for my cluster as pulled from my VCS configuration. Let's take a look at some change history. When I move from my configuration data tab to my history tab, I get a list of recent changes to my software configuration. Here you can see that a few parameters have changed. My online retry interval and my online retry limit parameters have changed. You can see when the change occurred and who made the change. I can also view history at the server level. If I click on my Red Hat Node 2 server, and instead of drilling in on an application, I click on the History tab. You'll see my change history for my cluster server, as well as all the other applications on the machine. You'll also notice the diffs icon located next to some of the change entries. When I click on that, it shows me my before and after images inside of my text files. In addition to real-time change history, Configuration Manager allows you to run a consistency check across all of your machines in your environment. So let's go into my list of consistency checks. I've got one defined as my Apache cluster. When I click on my Gold tab, it shows me that I've captured my Gold standard configuration from Node 1 in my cluster, and I've included my Apache Red Hat configuration in addition to my Veritas cluster server configuration. In my Setup tab, I can exclude information that's likely to change between nodes, like license key, host ID, and hardware serial number. My Servers tab shows me which servers I'm running this consistency check against. So in this simple example, I'm taking my gold snapshot and comparing it against my Node 1 and Node 2 machines. 
when I click on my run tab, it shows me my results. So my first consistency check came up green because there were no differences. My second one shows me that there have been differences between my desired state and my running configurations. When I click on my view button, I can see more details. So here we'll notice that my server configurations as compared to my goal builds are the same. My node one and node two server configurations are fine. However, I have changes in my Veritas cluster server software on node one and my Apache software and cluster server software on node two. When I click on the display button, it'll show me these differences. So as I drill into my configuration data, I see the gold configuration on my left and my running configuration on my right. I can view the same kinds of differences in my Apache setup. So I'm going to click on display button next to Apache, drill into my configuration data, and here are my differences. I've got a parameter that was turned on and two parameters that have changed or deviated from my gold standard. Configuration Manager also gives you real-time dependency mapping. If I click on my servers list, I'll go to my first server on my list called BizPlato, go to my applications list, and you'll see that we have WebLogic discovered on the server, in addition to a few WebLogic applications, one called Market Monitor, one called Pricing. I'm going to click on the Map button next to my Market Monitor application. And what VCM does is show me a real-time dependency map for my application. I have my incoming dependencies on my left, my outgoing dependencies on my right. One of the first things you might notice is the color coding. So my yellow boxes indicate machines with recent change. If I click on that and look at my history, you can see that there have been changes made to my Oracle environment. You'll also notice that I've got some machines with a question mark. These indicate servers where I don't yet have a VCM agent deployed. They'll still show up in your dependency maps. When I click on the information icon between dependencies, it gives me details about which applications are involved and what kind of dependencies there are. In this example, we're looking at a TCP dependency over port 1523. So this is observed real-time behavior that Configuration Manager is showing you. When I zoom out, you can see that Configuration Manager also allows me to define business services. I'm going to click on Auto Center and show you how the configuration map changes as I select a new item to center on. Business services allow me to band applications together and I can view history by business service from my dependency map. So this screen here is showing me all downstream history from my monitor business service. I can also view dependency maps at the server level instead of the application level. When I click on servers and click on the map button next to my server name instead of my application, Configuration Manager shows me a dependency map at the server level. Color coding tells me that there's been recent change. Here I can click back to my No 2. It repivots the map. Go to my History tab. I can see all the change history occurring on the server. To summarize what we've seen, is Veritas Configuration Manager's ability to discover your custom and packaged applications, including server configurations and application configurations, real-time change tracking of your configuration files, consistency checks across all of the servers in your environment down to the parameter level, and application and server dependency maps. Thank you very much for joining us today.